tell us more about the Infraverse. Infraverse is, um, is from the name, it's the new world where you can see all the buildings or all the telecom construction in a 3D way. How this will help Vodafone and what's the challenge that we're gonna solve? Definitely we have a lot of uh, processes that's in the networks that need to be digitalized. And there is a lack of data and modeling there. And this is the 3D model or what we call it BIM, building information modeling. And for this modeling, we would it will enable multiple uh, process for the networks like the optimization, the planning, the deployment, and uh, as well it will make it an, an enablement for the autonomous network. We're always speaking about autonomous network operations, but right now that will enable as well the autonomous network deployment, autonomous network design and planning. So we're speaking about something that will overcome a big challenge within the CSPs that they don't have enough data or visibility on the assets that they are managing and running. And especially in uh, cases like uh, disasters, uh, that will be very essential. What role does Cell Focus play in this catalyst? First of all, this was a very important project of Cell Focus. We could collaborate with major tier ones, but also other uh, participants. And with this, we could achieve the goal of creating this solution, Infraverse, in two months. This is a phase one catalyst. On Cell Focus side, we created a virtual reality world for indoor and outdoor, and we receive all the data from the other participants and we could put it in these virtual reality uh, worlds. We also fetch the data from the network in order to close the loop for the autonomous networks. With Cell Focus artificial intelligence models for anomaly detection, root cause analysis and surface impact analysis, we could provide in this virtual reality world to the engineers to take data-driven decisions. Moving forward, what impact will this catalyst have on Vodafone's strategy and operations? For Vodafone, like other CSPs, um, this catalyst represents a new era for how we manage our assets and how we can enable for the future the autonomous deployment, planning and design. Uh, through this catalyst, we will be able to have visibility on our assets in a 3D mode and at the same time enable automation for multiple processes within the network and it will enable the user to manage lots of activities that happened in the field just in the office remotely via VR and uh, through the XR world into this infraverse that we have we named our catalyst. What are the next steps for the catalyst? What could be the next step here is uh, we would like to productionize that. So uh, absolutely, it's a good idea. And now we have proof that it's viable and we would like to move to have it ready in for our sites and construction and even enable that for our customers. So our customers can benefit from that, like the enterprise customers. They can be able to manage and we can deliver for them the best connectivity through well planning and design and immediate change and adjust for the network and faster deployment for new sites. What's lined up for the future of the project? As next steps, as Mustafa said, this is the productization of the solution. And in this case, the productization could be for um, Beyond Telecom. This could be a product uh, in the marketplace and can be monetized as a solution, but to provide uh, connectivity uh, with data insights to Industry 4.0, for healthcare, for uh, um, shopping malls. But it's not only in terms of monetization that we see uh, the next steps. We also see uh, the societal impact of this. For instance, the disaster recovery. We could have drones that could be configured with the infraverse solution and can provide connectivity to the emergency workers, but also to find people that are in a disaster finding their phones. Also in another perspective is the energy consumption on the run that could reduce uh, this energy consumption that represents 2-3% to of global energy. Last but not least, the digital divide. Provide connectivity in places that didn't have the business case to have connectivity. How do you expect Vodafone to benefit from the concepts developed in this catalyst? Uh, within Vodafone, we will benefit a lot from applying such idea because we're going to have benefits from saving the site visits. We're going to have benefits to automate a lot of manual works that's happening now for within Vodafone or any other CSP. And this will uh, save a lot of 
OPEX and even CAPEX for Vodafone and make it deliver faster, which will have a great impact on the customer experience on how we fix and our MPS as well. And definitely that can be achieved through our partners and yeah, the long-term partners that we have collaborated with them within our Catalyst. And uh, we believe in them that this week can happen in the next few months.